love you. I 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 love you. Hey guys, I'm back with you versus them for July 27th through August 3rd. Let's see, what's been going on with you guys here? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's been going on with you guys? Page of Pentacles. Some of you have are getting ready to go back to school or either you've started school there's something that I feel like you're trying to learn you're trying to study gather information about here Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy something you want to do could be an apology for some of you here let's see what's been going on with the other person what's been going on with the other person strength hmm just trying to hold their own. Fighting that devil energy. Trying not to overreact. Just trying to show some restraint, I feel. I'm also feeling that there's... I'm feeling like both of you guys want to talk things out. Maybe apologize for the way that you behaved in a certain situation here. Okay. What's currently happen, happening for my Aquariuses? What's happening for my Aquariuses currently? Ace of Cups. I feel definitely there is a new offer on the table for love. It does not have to be a new person. It could be for some of you. But I feel like this is more so coming around. Coming around to a way of thinking. Coming around to a way of doing things. Maybe some feelings have been like um, re revived in you. Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy there. Learning to love yourselves and, and learning to be more patient, I feel, here is what you're currently doing. What's currently going on for the other person? <clears throat> the Magician. They have two majors here. I feel like this person is really showing restraint, but they really want to take some action towards you. They really want to make something happen with you guys. Gemini energy here. I also feel like maybe Scorpio is here as well, or Virgo energy. And Leo's here with strength, if I didn't say it already. But this person is really wanting to um, manifest something with you guys. And I, I believe just speed this along. I feel like you guys are sharing this energy between the two of you like you're in sync right now. And then we have the Empress jumping out here. And this is what's influencing this situation. I feel like you guys are definitely looking for growth. I feel like you guys have changed a lot here in this situation. Wanting to start over. Kind of reflecting on you know where you've come from and ready to move forward. You're feeling, I feel like you're feeling your best right now. You guys are feeling really good, doing really well, I feel. Taurus energy, Taurus Libra Aries. What's influencing this other person currently? I would want to jump, I'm going to take it. The King of Pentacles, I'm talking about in sync. In sync, you are. You guys are like the greatest match right now. I feel like both of you are in this in this frame of mind where you you are really you've grown, you've healed. I feel like you're you know, you're in these very supportive roles right now, wanting to be there for each other. Not quite sure if you guys have had a conversation yet, but I definitely see that that is where this is leading to. Thinking about each other, wanting to be there for each other, want to care for each other here you guys are more in the feeling stage this person is really wanting to make it happen i feel like it's taken a lot for them though more so than you to come to this point where they can really look at themselves and say hey you know there there probably probably are things that i could do better in this situation again taurus virgo capricorn energy with that king of pentacles what's coming in for aquarius Five of Cups, 
sadness are you guys feeling like you know it's over like there's been a missed opportunity here I don't feel like it's been a missed opportunity here maybe because you guys have not spoken um, maybe you guys are having some regrets about something but you don't really know how the other person is feeling currently because you know I don't see any communication here really mm -mm, I really don't you just know how you feel Hmm. Where is that Five of Cups coming from? You know what? Let me see. Why is this Five of Cups here for Aquarius? That's Scorpio energy. Why is, okay. Hmm. It's Aries card there. You know, it seems like for a lot of you you're feeling like you made a mistake like maybe you jumped the gun on something maybe you guys feel foolish for um, doing something or saying something more so doing something here than anything and maybe you feel like there's no way that you can actually come back from that hmm let's see what's coming in for the other person the world wrapping up a cycle having learned all the necessary lessons but having to put what they've learned into play so that they don't repeat the same cycle over again or cycles over again make the same mistakes now, what's interesting is that to clarify the Five of Cups energy, we have a Fool, which is the start of the Tarot, is zero. Well, they have the World here, which is the end of the Tarot. Okay? So, I'm feeling like, you know, this person is probably getting ready to make a move here. Um, because again, they have the magician. I feel like the power is in their hand and they're mustering up the strength to do what they need to do. And what they need to do is be the freaking king of pentacles. That is what they've learned. I feel like this is not a missed opportunity, guys. I really don't feel like it's a missed opportunity. Maybe you feel like it's been a long time you guys haven't spoken, but I definitely get that this person will be open and I feel like they're gonna make that move they're gonna make that move this is Taurus Scorpio Leo Aquarius energy here or if it's vice versa and you guys feel like you need to make that move let me tell you that this is not a missed opportunity it's never too late to speak your mind say what's on your heart okay never too late for that Let's see. What is the outcome for Aquarius? Queen of Swords, speaking your mind, saying what's on your heart. That's what that is. Speaking the truth. Hmm. Why is Aquarius coming as the Queen of Swords in the outcome? The Nine of Swords. This is worry. This is feeling like things are not going to get better. This person's not going to speak to you. You're never going to know the truth. You're never going to know what could be, if it could be. But that's not the case because, you know, the Nine of Swords is basically an overactive imagination i feel like you guys are really like in your head and in your feelings but this is not true you guys have definitely been hurt here let's see what's coming in for them i think i'm gonna pull you an oracle card to close this out let's see what's coming in for the other person 
Seven of Swords here. Hmm. You know, this is your card. So, definitely I see that you guys have some regrets here for some of you. You feel like you did something that was kind of foolish. And maybe you, you feel like you hurt this person that you did not take... Um, you took them for granted or what have you whatever the situation is for you it does not have to be cheating but um, just feeling like you did something that you can't come back from I feel like this is you guys coming back in because now that you're hearing this reading and you're hearing that you know this is not a missed opportunity that it's never too late to say what it is that's on your heart and in your mind I feel like this is you guys coming back after you feel like this relationship was destroyed, to be honest with you. I know a lot of you are going to say, no, that's not me. But for some of you, that's you. You know, so. But for others of you, you know, it could be vice versa. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And, um, oh, let me pull. Let me pull an Oracle card for you guys. Let's see. Just give me a card for Aquarius. Please give me a card for Aquarius. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. This could be, you know, literally somebody that has children. Um, you guys could share children. As a matter of fact, I laid the card right on top of the Empress. Could definitely involve a mother. Um, could also involve a father here. Or this could be, um, you know... Issues stemming from childhood. The reason why this didn't work out the first time. Okay? So, guys, that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?